Hey guys, Quiff the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick update on the Autoptech camera uh, with the IMX585 sensor from Sony together with a cooling system that I did an initial review for on the channel. Uh, I've been speaking with Toptech and I got uh, feedback that the camera is now available under the uh, Ryzen Cam brand. Uh, so the Ryzen Cam brand is basically the same thing as Toptech, it's just rebranded. It's available and currently it is on AliExpress. So I'll be putting a link down in the description. This is, as far as I know, one of only two cameras with this sensor. Uh, that has the cooling capability, at least for Peltier cooling. And it is, as far as I understand it, the only one with the HDR mode that I raved on about in my previous video. So this is really, for now, a unique camera until hopefully other brands follow suit on this sensor. So, link in the description to the Ryzen Cam camera. The guy at Toptech, my contact there, also told me that this adapter here, which can replace that ring here at the front to turn the 17.5 millimeters of back focus with M42 female threads into 12.5 millimeters of back focus with male M42 threads is also available and it's part of the package whenever you buy a new camera, whether it is from Tech or from Ryzen Cam. So you do have the choice with those cameras between 12.5 millimeters of back focus or 17.5 millimeters of back focus. And if you wanted this adapter and you've already bought a Ryzen Cam or Tech camera, it may be worth it to try to contact your uh, dealer and the person you bought it from and ask like, hey, do you have this adapter available and they might send it to you. And there is something more. And this is what I really like because Toptech listened, they watched the video and they listened to uh, my complaint. The main complaint was the LEDs that are super bright, which is less than ideal for astrophotography. And, and also the fact that uh, if you want to actually cover up those LEDs, you need to remove the camera housing first and then apply some tape directly on top. So what they're doing and what they're putting in place, apparently, it's not quite yet ready, but it is going to have boards that are available without the LEDs, or at least with the LEDs covered up or removed or something like that. I'm not sure exactly the implementation part of the of this, but uh, they're working with Ryzen Cam so that Ryzen Cam can add, hopefully, an option on their website to have basically no LEDs. So that means you won't get any status on the camera via LEDs, which can be frustrating in and of itself. But at least if you're using, especially if you're using things like Raza or Hyperstar, then you will not have the issue of any light leaking into your light frames, flat frames, or worse, dark or bias frames. So this is not in place yet. So I'm told it's being put in place. So I hope that's actually the case. Uh, so wait and see. Uh, but uh, yeah, this at least it shows that they're listening, they're looking into it and they're providing solutions hopefully soon enough we'll have the option on the website to select leds or no leds that would be absolutely awesome so this is a short video next time we'll be looking at an oag off-axis guider that i've ordered and i should receive tomorrow to install on this setup hopefully it's going to work if it doesn't maybe the video will be delayed but if that's interesting to you don't forget to go down below subscribe click that bell icon it's becoming more and more important on youtube and if you're even more interested in the channel you can join my patreon link in the description or uh, join the channel as a member every bit helps and you guys truly make the channel possible as always thank you so much more important than all of that though don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and i'll see you next time